parents, Justina from artbehavior.com, and this is our new series of the power of color to help your child manage their emotions. This topic today is about how does color affect your child's emotions. Now, I've actually just launched an amazing training about the power of the pencil and the impact of color, and it is really inspiring. The, our first introductory level, which is a 12 week training program, explains about how color has an impact without even with us noticing now us as adults we obviously walk around and and you know we have um f built filters and walls around ourselves to either blank out or not be aware of certain things anymore where children are so highly open and connected to emotions and feelings and they pick up everything around them uh, both unconsciously and that's exactly what color does so um, how color affects your emotions what I usually say to parents is um, what colors are you introducing at what times and what areas of the daily routine because if you're introducing um, active colors at night time you're going to be sure to have an active young child um, if you've got non-active colors around that can also uh, bring in um, non-activity or inspiration or non-inspiration. So the colors that are active are your yellows, reds, and oranges. And um, you know, you want to if you want to bring in a bit of that, you know, boosting this in the activity. That's great color to have around. Um, it's definitely not highly recommended at night before you're wanting to try and you know get children to just rest and relax. I even recommend like in the bath time routine to you know have different color lights of your greens your blues and your purples coming in in different shades uh, even having that or dimmer light um, all those kinds of things to just set up the mood to help your children relax into the bedtime routine